Well, there's an up and coming program involving 3D printers and more that keeps kids off of their screens and their video games and gets them doing some creative things. News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti shares how it has become a game changer for one young teen. What we have here is a pot of gold for my mom's preschool class. 13-year-old Joelle Lopez is about to turn this pot of gold image into a three-dimensional reality at the Idea Center in Ventura. The kids are going to see it and they're going to think that one of the leprechauns came to the classroom and did their stuff and left a pot of gold right in the classroom. 3D printers, laser cutters, and all kinds of high-tech machines fill this city-subsidized space. Joelle is one of the first kids to discover this new creative adventure. It's special to me because I get to learn so many other things and I don't get distracted. Before discovering this high-tech venue for kids, Joelle didn't know how to spend his time. Play all day video games for like five hours. All that changed when he started coming to the Idea Center after school. Now you could see me making stuff and helping other students how to make stuff. Whatever your passion is, you can turn it into something amazing in here. So we've got embroidery machines, weaving looms. That's not even the half of it. Over here, we've got large format printing. So you can see Jalen, who manages our space, is a fabulously talented artist. He's doing large scale canvases. Alex Duff, the president of the Idea Center, believes the best part about this space is it gives kids a place to go. Its primary objective is to help under-resourced youth and community members to learn skills and to translate those skills into entrepreneurial success. This place helps me with my homework, getting things finished, and for a birthday present, I could just make something here and I could give it to the person. Managers here at the Idea Center say the beauty of 3D printing is you can take any creative idea and make it into a reality. You can see right here, this is a piece of wood that was carved out by the CNC and as you can see, is a person. The Housing Authority of the City of Ventura purchased this property to make the Idea Center possible. We had this ground floor commercial that was available and what better use for it than supporting our young kids in the community. The Idea Center concept is now inspiring programs across Southern California, including Franklin Elementary School in Santa Barbara. Yeah. The indie bot that we're using will go into, we pull the strings, and then it's going to go up and drive onto the top. Early on, I met with Alex and the Idea Center and got inspiration from what he's doing and really invigorated us here to keep going with STEAM and spread it throughout our schools as well. The second graders are building communities and sending robots around to experience the city they're building. While Joel ventures into selling 3D creations for his family and friends, he won't need to make anything for himself. After all, he's already found his own pot of gold. In Ventura, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti.